Hello all, and welcome to our playthrough video for Circuit Breaker. I'm Peter, and I'll be playing this game with Hannah, our co-creators of the game. I'll show you some things that are in the box. Firstly is a stack of 48 appliance tiles, followed by a stack of 36 wire tiles, followed by four round counters that will be stacked as such uh, to be played in the game. One first player marker, and 40 uh, party favor cubes in four colors, and 18 dice. Four party favor tiles, three reference cards, eight secret objective cards, three breaker boxes, and then three mice in different colors. For this video, we'll be uh, setting up for a two-player game which means each player will receive one breaker box and then the last one will be unused. They will receive one mouse uh, in their chosen color. Once again, the last one is not used for play. They will get one reference card that's optional and six dice. The other six will go back in the box. The setup for this game is fairly simple and identical for both a two and three player game. You'll start by taking your round counters, putting them off to the side. Next to that will go your appliance deck and your wire deck. And then you'll take the top two tiles from that and spread them out next to it like so. Additionally, underneath, you'll put the party favor tiles uh, in ascending or descending order, your preference. And then you will stack the relevant color cubes on top of those tiles. You'll give each player a secret objective card, which they will keep face down. The rest are unused for the duration of the game. Decide which player is going first. That player will get the first player marker. And then deal each player three appliance tiles and one wire tile off the stacks. These will form their starting hand uh, at the beginning of play. Play begins with all players rolling their dice simultaneously, and there are four actions that you may complete on a turn in any order. Hannah will go first, and decides to open her turn with the trade action, which is to trade an appliance tile from her hand face down to take the top one off the appliance stack. Then she places one tile onto her uh, grid out of two that she's able to do in one turn. And she wants to purchase something, but also use her mouse, which is done at the same time by taking one of your dice, in this case a five, rolling it down to a three, subtracting two, and then adding two from a second die to purchase a five uh, wire tile. And then she may place her mouse, because she rolled down two to do so, and chooses to place it on the appliance stack, and then finishes her turn with a second placement onto her electrical grid. So it's now my turn, and I decide to check my secret objective card for the appliances that will score me more points at the end of the game. And I decide to open my turn with a trade also. And I will segue right into buying a tile and using my mouse at the same time by moving a 5 to a 3, subtracting 2, and then adding 5 to form 8 to buy the 8 wire tile off the top of the stack. I will then place that out onto my grid in addition to a second tile right away. And because I paid to move my mouse, I may do that at any point on my turn. In this case, I'm ending my turn by placing it on Hannah's breaker box, which will give me a chance to steal a tile from her hand. It's her turn, and she decides to open her turn again with a trade. She then places two tiles at the same time out onto her electrical grid, and sets up to use her dice to make a purchase in addition to moving her mouse. So she starts with a 4, rolls it down to a 2, and then uses that 2 to purchase a number 2 party favor, which will be placed in front of her. That dice is deactivated, 
and then she may move her mouse, taking the top card off the plant stack where it was resting. Trap my mouse on her breaker box, which sends my mouse back to the top of the plant stack. So it's now my turn, and I take my six, subtract two to make it four, add another four to purchase another eight tile, and that will be replenished immediately. I then place one tile out onto my grid, one of two. And then I make a trade for another appliance. And I may place a second tile out onto my electrical grid. And because I paid to use my mouse, I will take the top tile off the appliance deck where the mouse was resting and move it to Hannah's bubble maker. And it's Hannah's turn. Hannah begins her turn by taking a four, rolling it down to a two, moving her mouse right away to trap mine back to the appliance stack. She can trade for an appliance tile. And then she should have used that two to take a number two party favor. So now it's my turn. I'm going to start by putting out a tile onto my grid and I will take one of my dice, roll it down by two, add the one for a four party favor, place that in front of me, and because I paid to move my mouse, I may do so now, taking the top tile off the appliance stack and placing my mouse on Hannah's breaker box. And then I will place the second tile I'm allowed to place on my turn, Pass the turn to Hannah, who will start with a trade. And take a four, roll it down to a two to collect her two party favor. And then move her mouse to my espresso machine. And finishes her turn by placing a tile out onto her electrical grid. And because I have no more dice, I can neither make a purchase nor move my mouse. And so I'll open my turn with the trade. I'll then place a tile out onto my electrical grid. And place a second tile out onto my electrical grid. I now have no hand and must concede the turn to Hannah. Hannah then begins her final turn by taking her last die, rolling it from a 3 to a 1 to move her mouse. She then uses the 1 to collect a 1 party favor and takes my espresso machine during her mouse movement. She then gets to replace her mouse, which she does so in the form of a trap, on her own breaker box, which moves my mouse back to the top of the plant stack. The round is now over, so you'd flip the top round counter, deal a appliance tile to each player, roll your dice, pass the first player marker, and then repeat the round. And for the sake of time, we'll skip ahead to the end for final scoring. So this is our final board for end of game scoring. We remove all of the mice uh, to start from each player. And then you're gonna look for pairs, triples, uh, things like that, uh, especially cards on your secret objective card. So in this case, I have a television, but I do not have a disco ball. I have a single party light, and I have no waffle irons. I may still score points for appliances not listed on my secret objective card as well as all of my party favors. I have 14 party favor values, split in half is seven, which combined with my onboard appliances puts me at a final score of 40. Hannah has a telephone, espresso machines, but no popcorn maker and no toaster. Hannah scores 12 for her espresso machines, six for her bowl makers, three for the phone, three for the gumball machines, putting her onboard score at 30 points. A 
In addition, she also has 14 in party favor value. Split in half is 7, which puts her final score at 37 points. It was a very close game. Thank you all for watching our tutorial on how to play Circuit Breaker once again. My name is Peter, and this is Hannah, the co-creators of Circuit Breaker. We hope you enjoy this game as much as we do. Thank you so much.